Hey all, good morning. Let's see how we can configure LDS Perimeter System so that we can use it with a Stream Deck. Stream Deck is a very useful device, a completely configurable set of buttons uh, so that, so that uh, you can vinculate any action with uh, any of the buttons you have there. So let's, uh, let's take advantage of this. In the first place, here we have the directory just that as it is download uh, from, from our website, right? We open it, we will see the LDS bridge application, which is not a topic covered in this video, and LDS perimetral. Inside uh, LDS perimetral folder, uh, we have the LDS perimetral application, but we also have a new application here, uh, LCAL. The idea is that this application will be used to launch uh, HTTP requests uh, to per the perimeter system. But let's go step by step. Let's start LDS perimeter application first. And the first thing that we will do is we will make sure that the, um, the remote uh, control uh, of um, of the execution of sequences and playlist is enabled. By default, it is not. So let's uh, enable remote playback. And then we click on apply. At this point, at this point, the system is listening in this board at the API defined to start uh, new sequences and uh, new playlist. But how do we get information about this API? Let's click in these buttons and we will see that to launch the all playlist, we have to make a HTTP request to this URL. To launch the playlist during the match, we have to call this HTTP and so on. The idea is that here we have the name of the playlist and the number of the sequence to launch. So by default, it will launch the third sequence. But if you want to launch the second sequence, just have to write the appropriate number. Okay, here we have a button to copy all these uh, URLs so that you do not have to type it, right? We will install uh, the, um, the execution of a Stream Deck in the same computer that is playing LDS Perimeter but of course you can do it from any computer that is in your local network. So let's start the Stream Deck Configurator and the Stream Deck Configurator uh, has a set of available areas that we can create uh, sequences or playlist or any button we want. First we will install by creating a folder that we will call it LDS Perimeter. Let's go inside the folder and in this folder we will create the corresponding playlist buttons. So, first I will create the during the match button. So we copy here the link and then we come here to say launch an application. We drag it on top of the corresponding button and then we will say this is the during the match. So the first thing we have to select the file to launch. So here we will go to our desktop that is where we have our application desktop folder and then I go to the LDS perimeter installation folder and inside LDS perimeter I select the LC, uh, LURL uh, application right after this we copy the API that we have copied to the clipboard just pasting it so here, what the system will do will launch, will launch this application, 
and will give us as the first parameter the URL to open. And that's all. We will change the name of the of the button site. So you will say during the match. And we are done. Just close this application and uh, I will also close uh, these windows. And when I press the button, the system is running. Now to run the playlist we have configured is very easy. Here we have the button that we have created previously and just have to press it and see how the application reacts. That is very simple, very fast, very easy to use. As you can see, the configuration of a Spring Deck is very, very easy. The only trick is to use our application to launch the, um, the HTTP request because the one that is included in Windows 10 uh, opens uh, a window that may be a trouble uh, during the um, during the match, right? That's all so folks, thank you very much, have a nice day and see you in the next video. Bye bye!